Hello everyone, my name is Adam Repulse Vox and welcome back to another tutorial. This is a video sponsored by Boomerang for Gmail. Boomerang is a really cool Chrome extension, Gmail extension specifically, um, that can really help your workflow if you do a lot of business email. And it's something I'm, uh, I'm quite interested in applying to my own email environment. And so, for a little bit of context here real quick, for those of you who don't know, I actually work for the YouTube network Freedom, and they're based out of the Philippines. And so, email communication gets a little wonky, because that's like a 12-hour time difference. And so I'm hoping this will help me alleviate some of the issues with that, as Boomerang has a lot of really cool features. For example, uh, even for my main YouTube work, the Boomerang functionality is that if you get an email come in, you can tell it to boomerang it back to you at a different time so i get a lot of overseas review requests sent to my epos vox work email and so i can use it to boomerang that back to me to hit me at the morning so they don't get buried in my inbox and then i can respond and be like okay what do i want to review this product things like that you can also tell it to send an email later so it arrives to the person that you're sending it to at the opportune time which they have determined is morning like 7 a.m in the morning for the recipient and then lunchtime for the recipient. And so I can use that to schedule my emails appropriately for the people in the Philippines. And then there's also read receipts, so you know whether or not your email has been open and things like that. So to start, you of course want to go to the link in the description below and click add this to your Gmail. And then it will pop up asking you, are you sure you want to add it as a Chrome extension? It works with Firefox, Chrome, and Safari, and then it works with both the normal Gmail for personal accounts and the Google Apps email which is for business accounts, which is actually what I'm using here for my freedom email. Then it'll pop up saying it's been used for Chrome. I don't know why they have another install button that's going to pop up the same thing, but then it loads up your email, which I can't entirely show you, but I can show you the process and I can find an email I can show you. So thank you for installing Boomerang. Let's take a tour of the features. All right, here are the two biggest features that I'm excited for. Returning messages to your inbox, so essentially it will take an email that you need to respond to later and ping it back to you at a certain point in time that you're better prepared to respond to it, which again for me would be like review requests that I get overnight. They are going to get buried under a bunch of other emails as the night goes on, so I can tell them to or tell it to boomerang it back to me when I get up, and then I'll have a fresh email there to respond to and then scheduling messages you can tell it when to send this is also good if you do a lot of email over the weekend but you still want it to get freshly in the top of people's inboxes for example here you can tell it to send to someone at monday at 8 or 9 a.m that way even though you're sending over the weekend it will be kind of first in their email list and more likely to get a reply so you have a boomerang button for that then you have the send later button for the secondary feature and then you have some other options using the little boomerang icon that pops up. And then they got videos to show you how to do it. Now, it is a free trial for 30 days. You don't need a credit card. You don't need anything. I do need to point out that this is a paid software in the long run. But they do have a completely no frills. You don't sign up and then they charge you after the time period. It, you don't even put in any payment information for the first 30 days. If it's making a difference for your workflow and for your you know, emailing service, then sign up and pay for it and keep using it and great if not no harm no foul so definitely recommend you checking it out and at least giving it a try now if we check out by my name here for that boomerang icon we have some options manage scheduled message messages so if you need to make an edit to it you can make an edit to it or see which ones you already have scheduled in case you forgot if you already scheduled a message to someone which i am likely to do and then settings and then a couple help menus and you can buy your subscription so let's check out these settings and then accept, give it permission to access your email and manage your mail. And there we go. Okay. When messages are returned, you can choose whether or not they're marked as unread, which of course I'm going to do. That way I know that I still need to look at them. You can star them so they get marked as more important and skip past labels. Yeah, add it to the top of your inbox, of course, which is what I'm going to what you're going to want to do. That way you see it at the very top and top priority. And then you can give it a label so that way you just it provides more context. And then you can enable keyboard shortcuts to use it. Eh. And then you have the premium settings, which is for the paid plan version. Uh, you can enable Boomerang for every email. Uh, CRM integration, I don't exactly know what that is. And then you can request a read receipt for every email. So that means you can always see whether or not someone's opened your email, which can be very useful. Like, yeah, One of the big things with this is you can schedule an automatic follow-up after a certain amount of time if someone hasn't responded. 
and this helps you keep an eye on it too. Like if you're sending a personal follow up, if you see that they haven't, you know, even read it yet, then maybe you send a different follow up to just get them to read it in the first place versus knowing that they read it but haven't responded and seeing if they need more information or something like that. I'll just click OK because all of these are proper or are set right. All right, I'm going to compose a new email here. I'm going to type, send it to myself. So I'll send it to my personal email. Important work email read ASAP. Plus. Hi. OK, very, very important work email. And then I'm going to use this, the features down here. So you have send later. So I can tell it when to send. So I can tell it tomorrow morning. Send tomorrow morning. And it will schedule it up. And then it will send tomorrow morning to myself. That way, even though I said read ASAP, it'll send it to me to send right there. And then if I go to the boomerang icon, manage scheduled messages, it will preview my messages to send later to EposVox. Important work email, read ASAP, please. Okay, let's make a new email to myself again. Test two. Blah, 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 blah. Boomerang this in how many days? One month. Boomerang this in one, two hours if no reply. And then I will send it now. And then I will get it on my personal email. And if I don't respond within two hours, it's going to boomerang it back. So pretty cool. All right. So I sent myself an email here. And so say I'm not in a position to respond to it right now. I am going to bed, but I, I went ahead and read it so that I knew, you know, what it was or whether or not I needed to respond to it. Then I can click boomerang and return it back to myself tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning, it's going to pop back up for me. Pretty straightforward. Like it is a very cool concept. And I'm pretty excited to dig in on both my work email to tackle the issues of, uh, you know, hang on, let me look here. All right. Also, I wanted to point out real quick under messages, you also have a list of boomerangs, you know, with your messages this and later and things like that. But I'm very excited to tackle this in the sense of my work email of getting emails to people on their time instead of just randomly on my time and getting lost in the email inboxes and as well for my review requests to ping things back to myself because I've had a huge problem with my email inbox of getting a lot of review requests at very inopportune times and then never getting back to them and I've missed out on a couple products to review on the channel because of that. So this is a basic overview of boomerang for gmail it is it's got quite a few features they even have an android app so you can check it on the go which is important for someone like me who you know does a lot of his email checking on his smartphone and then you can also add notes to the emails that you boomerang back to yourself so you know why you sent it back to yourself and add context or anything like that notes of what you need to send to them things like that you can also schedule as you see here in this recurring messages tab you can schedule out recurring messages to go out at regular intervals and then this is the tracked messages section. But lots of features, really cool Chrome app, Gmail app, I guess, but Chrome extension, Firefox extension, Safari, doesn't work for MS Edge, I guess, but that's okay, because you shouldn't be using that except on very low-end laptops. Anyway, I didn't say that. Um, I think, hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, check out the link to Boomerang for Gmail in the description below. Smash the like button. Leave me a comment down below if you have an idea of how this could help out your work or business based on how you, your, your ongoing email habits, leave that in the comments down below. Get subscribed for more awesome tech related videos and otherwise I'll catch you in the next one.